feel good Everybody loves you All these niggas want you But I'm the one you want Welcome back to my channel. It's Taya here. I hope you guys are having a marvelous, what day is it? Tuesday? <sighs> it's almost Christmas. It's De December 22nd. And yeah, I just decided to flat iron my hair and show you guys. This video took all day, a good five hours because not five hours to do my hair, but it took five hours because I had to find a good spot to record in my room. My room was a hot mess. I didn't want you guys to see that. So <laughs> yeah, I'm near my closet, <laughs> taking down my hair. So yeah, uh, the night before I washed my hair, I washed my hair with the Emerge uh, shampoo and conditioner. And then I just put my hair in these two little plaits. And now I'm taking it down. Um, I like to start my blow dry off on like dry hair. Like I don't like when my hair is like too, too wet. Cause I feel like that causes more damage than it needs to be. So yeah, I wore it in this stretch style all night. And then now I'm just sectioning off my hair and prepping it for the blow dry. The heat protectant that I'll be using today is by Ozzy. I will show you guys that in a minute, the one that I bought. decided to use a styling foam um, when blow drying my hair I felt like the styling foam would help like set the style maybe I don't know I don't know um, th this was just me testing it out my results came out really good so if you guys want to try that out the best blow dryer ever it kills your time in half um i bought this blow dryer because youtube told me to buy it like i see so many people using this blow dryer it's really good and it's very cheap i bought mine on amazon for like 30 bucks i think i don't know how much it costs now but if i find the price i will link it in the description box that section is so smooth and just bouncy I never blow dry my hair like this like straight because I don't want heat damage so yeah this is the only time you ever see me blow dry my hair this bone straight um, these products that I use work really well usually with my blow drying routine I use shea butter but obviously I can't use that now because I would literally cook the shea butter in my hair and my hair would be weighed down so these lightweight pro products work really, really well. Thank you. 
would love for you guys to see to sit here and like watch me blow dry my hair for hours and hours but for the sake of this video i am not gonna do that to you guys so in the next few minutes we're gonna be oh we're done look at that look at that blink and i i am finished blow drying my hair i wish i could do that in real life but anyways i'm sectioning off my hair to prep it for flat ironing natural hair you always want to take the thinnest section so you won't have to run so many passes through your hair that was my goal that was my goal but <laughs> I went over my hair a few times okay so <laughs> yeah I tried to stick to the small sections but my back was hurting I've been sitting on this ground for like I don't know how long I was tired okay so you're gonna see me go over my hair a few times. Like, I, didn't, I don't even know why I went over that part a, a second time, but I guess, you know? Cause my ends, like, I take that back. My ends were pretty, pretty, like, bad. Um, I did trim them, but you won't see it in this video cause like I said, for the sake of this video, that was too long. I did record it, but I just ended up just taking it out. Like it was, it, I felt like what the point what was the point I think I trimmed my hair on this channel so if you guys want to see that I will link it in the description box as well so the flat iron I'm using is a mystery flat iron I lost the box it says t3 so I'm gonna search up what t3 means and I will show you guys I got this flat iron from my aunt. She was moving and she was like, you know what, you want a flat iron? I said yes, and the rest was history. Um, this flat iron has no heat setting. Usually I like a flat iron that shows how much heat I'm using, but considering this is the only flat iron I have, and on top of that, it's a pretty good flat iron, I was willing to take the risk, you know? And I decided to use the flat iron on four, the highest heat setting. I don't know what four is or if I'm gonna get heat damage or not. But considering that I do not flat iron my hair all the time, I just felt like, hey, what the hey? We only do this once every blue moon. So let's see how this goes.
look like. My hair was so flowy and just volume was just there, guys. I was in love. Um, this is my second time ever straightening my, my natural hair, like ever since I big chopped. The first time went terrible. I did get heat damage and I think it was because I used way too much heat protectant. Um, I was using the spray, I was using the Cantu spray, which is very oily. Do not get Cantu's thermal heat protectant crap. It was crap, okay? Don't use that. It was way too oily and it weighed down my hair and the smell was too much. It smelled, yeah, very, I don't even know what it smelled like, but it just, I don't like the smell. And then I used the um, carrot heat protectant, the serum. I didn't realize that the video was moving fast, guys. I'm sorry. But anyway, here I'm just like bumping my hair, curling it like I used to do back in the day when I used to straighten my hair all the freaking time. Wow, like my, I feel like my hair has come a long way. It's so long, it's super thick, and it's just the healthiest it ever, it has ever been, you know? Um, I'm going to show you guys a picture of when I used to straighten my hair, like, all the freaking time and I want you I want to compare it to what it looks like now like my hair looks totally different and I'm very happy mode and oh oh who's this see i don't know who this is but anyways guys you guys know what to do like comment subscribe follow me on my instagram and stay fabulous look at the look at me guys i am bomb bye <laughs>